Every day we held workshops in Lima proper for people who work with these children. Analyze, select, act. Social workers, psychologists, law enforcement people, people that work for the government, people from different ministries, people who have a heart to help these children. And then they were awarded a certificate. This certificate is very important to them. She says that more or less from 60 to more um, like adult people, old people get together in the center of Lima. One of the things that Francis teaches these children is that God has rescued them from the streets. And so God requires them to give back to the streets. So once a week, 10.30 at night, she brings them back into the streets. And they hold a service there, a church service. And the homeless people come. They sing. There's preaching of the word. And then she feeds them. Men and women like you and like me. Families, mothers with their children, this is where they would spend the night. They are served a mixture of rice and eggs and pork. children rescued from the streets feed the people of the streets Miguel rescued as a young boy Felix mother died from an overdose woke up one morning to find his father hanging from his ceiling at 12 years old, he walked out of the house, took the bus into Lima, and was found on the street. I give them their food. Dios te bendiga. God bless you. And I say, God, why? For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was a prisoner, and you came and visited me. And I said, Lord, when were you hungry, and I fed you? When were you thirsty and I gave you something to eat? When were you naked and I clothed you? When were you a prisoner and I came and visited you? And he said to me, For as much as you have done it unto the least of these, my brothers, you have done it unto me. When it was time to go back to our hotel, the emotions that flooded through me were more than I could bear. Could one person really make a difference? I believe with all my heart, yes, they can.
Hello, and thank you for watching. Our missions trip to Lima, Peru, in the district of San Juan de Lurgancho was very successful. As we continue to move forward with our missions effort in Peru, we have already begun planning our next trip. On this next team, we will be bringing 11 people. In addition to offering training and workshops for people who work with traumatized children, and in addition to offering the medical and dental clinic, this year we will also be providing on-site training in observation and intervention skills within the therapeutic milieu, and we will also be bringing an evangelistic team that will be holding evangelistic outreach meetings for children and their families in the district of San Juan de Lurigancha. This is a district that we are told does not even have a church, and for many, this will be the first time they have ever heard the gospel message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you again for your partnership, and may God bless you as we continue to work together to make disciples of all nations. As your brothers and sisters in Lima, Peru would say to you now, muchas gracias, Dios te bendiga. Thank you very much, and God bless you.